Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be playing with my hair and I'm gonna show you guys everything I use, everything I do with my hair. And yeah. If you wanna know how I created these hairstyles or what I do with my hair, then just keep on watching. Let me just say off the bat that my hair has never been dyed before. It's never been tempered and it's never really gone in in touch with any type of sort of chemical that might you know bleach or affect my hair color in any way so there is that um, just in case you guys were wondering uh, maybe it will affect the way your hair is um, done or you know versus my hair if I ever do dye my hair it's probably just gonna be ombre because I mean if I don't want it to touch my roots. I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I use on my hair, like for hair products. Um, so let's get started. So to shampoo my hair, I use a Tresemme, my Botanique um, shampoo, and this is how it looks like. This is uh, their coconut line, and let me just say, <laughs> I used to, I I did uh, my favorite brand um, is Tresemme, of course, but. Um, it's funny because I started with Tresemme and then I moved to Pantene. Pantene is not bad. I, I like it. But when this line came out, I was very intrigued by it. And so I moved back to Tresemme. And let me just say that this shampoo has really changed my hair. It's just gone stronger, softer, and just it smells good too. Like it smells incredible. I love this so much. Um, so yeah, and along with it, I do use the... I love these as well. I love this one as well. It's they just make my hair use and of course my conditioner is gonna be heavier than my shampoo because I use more shampoo than conditioner. It's always just better to use more shampoo than conditioner. Um, because if you do use a lot of conditioner, it's gonna make your hair feel, I know it's, it's amazing, it, it makes your hair feel so soft, but sometimes when your hair is too soft, it's too floppy, it's too um, hard to like style it at times, so that's why you don't really want to go overboard with the conditioner, and just to let you guys know, never rinse your conditioner with um, hot water, try to use a cool temperatured water when you're washing off your conditioner hot water opens your little hair um pores and i for me my conditioner i don't bring it up to my root um to my roots because that just makes it again floppy because i do style it more up here the point is that i like to have it drier here than here um so i always just focus my conditioner on my roots and sometimes i will apply my leave-in conditioner leave-in conditioner is basically like a conditioner after conditioner so basically when your hair is wet you leave in your conditioner for a little bit and you know just let it dry down it's just gonna leave your hair softer um i don't use that because i feel like that is only for like girls that have more frizzy hair my hair's not too frizzy um, leave in conditioner might help your curly hair because it just makes it more softer and you don't have to deal with the whole freeziness. Um, I don't use that. Sometimes my sister does, but I don't use that. So yeah, those are the shower products I use on my hair most of the time. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is this Palmer's Coconut Oil. And it looks like this. This is actually a hair serum. Um, this is for dry and damaged hair. And I know a lot of people don't like to use um, oils after their shower because, you know, it's kind of worthless or they don't like it or you shouldn't put it on damp hair um, but I do it anyway only meant for to be with dry hair which is you know the coconut oil and I mean any type of oil is meant for dry hair but I like to put it on my roots after I shower obviously I'm not gonna put it like right after I shower I always let my hair get a little dry but not too dry just like in between I like to apply this on my roots only on my roots always for example um, there's gonna be days where I curl my hair and, I, and it's the, the style that I came in is like the curl is too tight and I'm not feeling that if I'm not feeling the tight curl that day I apply a little bit of this and then I rub it in my hands and then just put um crunch my hair with my tight curls and what that's gonna do is not only give it shine but it's also gonna loosen my curls up just a tiny bit just because sometimes I'm not feeling the tight curl I like the shine but I don't want it I don't want to go overboard with oil you know you don't want to go overboard with oil it's just gonna 
burned your hair down and that is why I use his oil for sometimes too. I mean, coconut anything for my hair is amazing. Now that we're on the topics of oils, I, um, I do use two types of hair protection for the heat on my hair. It is an oil in a spray bottle uh, and at the moment I don't have either of those because I've run out. I'm sorry. I always link things down below and I'll link those down below just in case you guys are interested or if you guys want to know what I'm talking about. The oil, I use it when I'm going to like style my hair like before applying any heat and of course the spray too and I sometimes use them together, sometimes I don't. For example, some days my hair is going to be oily so I like to use the spray only, you know. I don't want to apply more oil on my oily hair. Um, and sometimes when my hair is a little dry, I like to go in with the oil heat protectant and yeah. That's how I style my hair. It just depends on how my hair is doing that day. I know this is going to be like such a... It's already such a long video by now. Because I'm talking so much about my hair. But I want to tell you guys this before we get into the hair tutorial. So you guys could have an idea of why or how my hair is styling that way it is. Um, just, so you guys, just so you guys can have a general idea of how my hair holds up. And why it holds up that way it does. Now we're going to talk about hair brushes. I use three different hair brushes. This hairbrush is actually like a detangler type of hairbrush. It's like those smooth hairbrushes that just slide through your hair. And I like to use this to untangle my hair, like let's say before I shower, um, anything, you know, just anything that has to do with untangling. I use this one to brush my hair after shower. After I shower, always, always, I use this after I shower, always. And I know it's bad to brush your hair while it's wet. But to be honest, I don't like to brush it when it's already dry because it's just gonna get, like, it's gonna get more tangled, you know, it's gonna get even more tangled and I don't like that feeling. I don't wanna brush my hair away, you know, like, I like to brush it while it's still wet and that's when I apply my oil, oil the one that I mentioned right now. Um, so yeah, I don't really find it damaging my hair at all. I mean, it's just theories. I don't know if it's even true that they say that your hair is not okay to brush it when it's wet or whatever. Nothing happens to my hair. <laughs> and this third one, this is actually my back combing hair. And yeah, I love this. I love this so, so, so much. I don't know the brand. It faded away. It was right here. Um, but again, I'll link all these things below. I love this so, so, so much because it just grips on the hair so well. These bristles are just so perfect and they do the job. Moving on, I'm going to talk about hairsprays and all these other products that I use. If you don't know me, I actually backcomb my hair a lot. Like a lot. Like every time I do my hair, I backcomb it. Um, if I'm wearing it, actually if I'm even wearing it up to, I'll backcomb it. Um, yeah, I like to backcomb my hair a lot. It just, my, I have very thin hair. I have a little bit of hair and I also have very thin hair. And I like to volumize it by adding different products to my hair, by back combing it by curling it by you know anything that makes my hair look a bigger i love now the hairspray that i normally use to, um when i back comb my hair i run out and i believe that hairspray is called value max and i i think they only sell it on sally's don't quote me on that but i always get my hairspray there the hairspray i'm using at the moment i have these this pantene hairspray and i would normally grab a tresemme hairspray but I don't know, I didn't see it, um, so I just grabbed this. Because Stress My Hairspray is actually pretty good too. Um, but I just, you know, I decided to try this out because it just looked very like it was going to work. <laughs> I mean, it does work, but for like back combing, I wouldn't recommend it because it's just going to, your hair is just going to fall down, you know. Like, what's the point of back combing it and using hairspray, this hairspray, if it's not going to hold it up? So yeah, the thing that does hold up was curls. So like if you curl it or if you don't back comb your hair, I think you would love this so much. I would recommend this. It's nice for holding curls. Not good for back combing. So this is my second day hair. Um, so with that said, I normally use dry shampoo on my second day hair. It is important for you not to wash your hair every day. And I know some of you guys are just like, why wouldn't, like, ugh. 
but it gets like so oily and whatever I understand I understand the feeling at first it feels like disgusting kind of like why are you washing your hair you know but it's actually like damaging your hair if you wash it every day and that's just a fact actually like what I would do normally like I just get a shower cap put it on my head and then just wash my body and then you know let your hair be free for a little bit and with that your hair will create natural oils those natural oils will actually help your hair uh, by nourishing it and all of that good stuff um, just you know natural oils for your hair um, but yeah and now that we're in this second day hair topic I do have two favorite dry shampoos at the moment this Batiste is always just like a favorite this is a favorite for everyone this is a dry shampoo this is in divine dark and it smells like so good it smells like chocolate this is a good dry shampoo but recently I've been loving this suave dry shampoo and this is actually a gift from some special people very special people and yeah let me just say I don't like pineapple but this smells so good it smells delicious like I'm gonna eat it <laughs> um, I love this so much um, I've been loving this I've been using this one more than this one now with this one the good thing about it is that it won't leave like a white cast which we all hate like if you know like if you use dry shampoo as much as I do you'll know that dry shampoos tend to leave like a white cast this one won't because it's tinted I mean it's obviously gonna have a little bit of a white cast but it's not gonna be like overwhelming like other dry shampoos do have their casts like their white ass cast um, this one does have a bit of a white cast and but just like any other dry shampoo they do have a, a white cast undertone but again it fades away because it sinks in you use dry shampoo to either volumize or to refresh on your hair volumize meaning like your hair is going to be plumped and it's going to be big and it's going to be bomb so yeah you use dry shampoo and to to do that and then you actually use dry shampoo to refresh in your hair you know how i said that sometimes it feels gross to have your second day hair but dry shampoo will take that feeling off because it this well it has little particles and then those little particles just suck up all the oil up and it leaves your hair feeling so fresh so i actually when I use um, heating tools, I use these. These are the um, these are the Liam Hillik, um heating tools, and these were actually a gift from my mom. And I love this. Actually, came with a, a hair blow dryer. I don't use a hair dryer. I usually just let my my hair naturally dry. I don't like to use heating tools to dry my hair. I just find that it just leaves it like so dry and. I don't like that feeling. This actually did come with a little glove to protect your fingers from burning. So you definitely want to use that. Um, this, um, you could either do loose curls or a tight curl. So doing a tight curl, you put your hair as close as possible. Like when you want to do a tight curl, you put your hair together like that. You see how it's all together? And don't worry, this is um, turned off. Just giving you an example. Um, you see your hair is tight right here that creates a tight curl if you want to do like a loose curl like you would grab your hair and just put them as separated as you possibly can like that you see how that's my hair is separated that's how you create a loose curl and if it's close together it's gonna create a tight curl and yeah that's just something in case you don't know this is actually what I use to straighten and to curl my hair for this tool I do like my entire head if I want to from root to end I do my hair but with this one I either straighten my hair or I just curl my tips I just grab it and then twist and then bring down and it's gonna give me a beautiful curl um, I like to do that on my ends I'm gonna start off by like showing you guys how I create my buns um, but before we do that I like I would like to show you what I use as hair ties I, these are the hair ties I use I try not to take them out of this package because Lord knows I'm gonna lose these and so I try to keep them here and for bobby pins I found these at Walmart these are the Conair bobby pins they actually um, came in this little box here which I love because it opens just like there's little two buttons here and then it just pops open like that which is so cool Okay guys, starting off, I'm just going to grab my dry shampoo and then I'm just going to want to shake that as well as I possibly can before applying it onto my hair. 
Now we're just going to want to section our hair just as if we would curl it or strain it. And we're just going to apply dry shampoo in every section of our hair. Once that is done, you're going to want to let it sit for a little bit. And then you're going to want to run your fingers through your hair and to shake it well. And what this is going to do is create volume. And as you can tell, just by doing this, we have so much volume in our hair and I love it. Moving on, we're just going to grab a very stretchy hair tie and what I'm doing here is just grabbing my hair up. You don't want to make your pony too high or too low, just in the center. I think having your hair like this in a very high ponytail is actually very cute too. So you can leave it just as is. Um, it's very voluminous, but what I like to do next is run my fingers through the bottom of my hair and just spread it out just so I could give me more volume then I like to go in with my back combing comb and I like to grab section by section and gently back comb my hair and what this is gonna do it's gonna create volume for our bun so it could be very voluminous try to get the very tips too just so we are sure Spread some hairspray and crunch it up a little and then spread it out so it could be evenly distributed. What we're going to do here is grab a bobby pin. Make sure you use it upside down, not like you would normally use it because using it upside down is actually going to grip into your hair um, even better. So I'm just going to start by curl. I'm just going to grab my finger push the hair up and then curl and then start pinning it in place and that's pretty much all I'm doing all around and you want to do this section by section just so it doesn't get complicated for you And now you could leave it like this if you'd like. This is a very classic bun. I think it's very, very cute. But what I like to do, I like to pull out some strands from the center of my head with some inches apart. And little by little, you're going to want to pull out some hair. Make sure you don't pull out so much at once because then you might pull too much out and you don't want that. So as you can tell, one strand of hair was thicker than the other. So all I did was pull out more to even it out and I just like to pull hair from the front of my face and from the back just for it to be a little more messy because I like that look and that's pretty much it guys I think this is very very cute for the next hairstyle I'm just gonna grab my comb once again and I'm going to section it right on my crown right on the crown of my on my head and then just back comb it now that now that we're in this topic of back combing and teasing there is a difference between back combing and teasing you see how I'm dragging my hair only down here that is back combing when you tease your hair you grab it you grab your hair and then you go up and down up and down and that's teasing i'm not teasing my hair right here i'm just back combing it because i'm only going down in one direction i'm just gonna spray that i usually do three sections when i do back comb my hair i know our hair's gonna look a little crazy um then i like to do my sides as well i like to back comb my sides just to add extra volume on the sides of my head.
and after that you're just gonna want to part your hair and then just comb it to make it look neat and nice And I love this look because it gives so much volume to my hair and it looks just so big and so full and I love it so, so, so much. Um, this is actually what I do every day. But if you want something different, I suggest doing like a very low pony. So definitely just grab your hair down and tie it down and you can leave it just like that if you'd like. Right here, I'm just grabbing some hair from my front, from the front of my head, so it could give, so it could frame my face a little. What I'm doing now is I'm just gonna curl or twist my hair and pin it down because this is gonna create a low bun. It's gonna be very cute and just like if we were on our high bun. As I previously showed you, you're going to want to curl and pin, twist and pin, all over, all around. And you see how it creates this beautiful, messy, symmetric bun? I think it's very cute. So yeah guys, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the clips you did see before, I was wearing something else as you can tell. And that is because for my other clips I forgot to fill an outro. But I am here now, talking to you guys again. Um, just in a different hair and outfit. Just to let you guys know, the hair used in my previous um, clips was my second day hair. Just to like throw that out there. The video was pretty long. I know I apologize, but I did really want to talk about the history of my hair and the products I use. Maybe you guys got inspiration or are going to start using some of these products um, on your own hair routine. Um, anyway, I just hope I inspired you in any way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.